In Germany, a bachelor is equal to a master. We found out how it works and why it's not quite so simple in this video. Over the last three months we have looked at dual vocational training, university studies and school-based vocational training. After dual vocational training and school-based training, there is also further training and higher qualification. Traditionally, this is the master craftsman. Even in the Giles, the master had voting right and decided on the work and rules of the guild. The masters trained apprentice and were often necessary to run a crafts business. This was also the case for a long time in Germany, Austria, Switzerland and South Tyrol. Anyone who wanted to run a craft business and train apprentice had to be a master craftsman. This strict rule was softened somewhat by an amendment to the crafts code in Germany in 2004, but has also been partitionally withdrawn in other countries. Before 2004, for example, master craftsmen were required in 94 trades and after 2004 in around 40 trades, such as bricklaying and concrete construction, roofing, carpentry, well drilling, chimney sweeping, butchery, baking and confectionery, gunsmithing, plumbing and electricity, as well as vehicle technology, opticians, hearing aid, assistants, and hairdressers. Broadly speaking, in all areas where the health of customers or third parties could be at stake. Twelve more professions have been added since 2020. Organ and harmonium builder, concrete block and terrazzo maker, tiler, slab slayer, mosaic layer, interior decorator, wood turner and wooden toy maker, coopers, street layers, apparatus and tank builders, sun protection and roller shutter technicians, glass finishers, illuminated advertising and sign making, and parquet layers. Quality had suffered considerably there. If someone wants to acquire a master craftsman title, they must pass the master craftsman's examination. To do this, the person must first have successfully passed the journeyman's examination in the relevant trade. As a rule, the person then works in the trade for several years and the past at least three years, traditionally also marital births and sometimes waltzing were necessary. And then often went or goes to master school full-time or part-time for a year. During this time, the prospective master craftsman learned in depth technical, legal, business management, methodological and didactic topics. At the end, there is an examination and often a masterpiece. This can be a special piece of furniture for carpenters or a special piece of jewelry for goldsmiths or a new loaf of bread or cake for bakers. Here we see some masterpieces of hairdressers in Hamburg from 2016. The masterpiece must be paid for by the candidate, which can be very expensive depending on the craft, like for goldsmiths. The examination also qualifies the master craftsman as an instructor, which means that the master craftsman can then train apprentice. The Master Craftsman is then also entered in the Master Craftsman Register of the District Master Craftsman's Association, which is sometimes prerequisite for opening a crafts business and the authorization to train apprentice. In addition to Master Craftsman, there are also industrial masters in industrial companies. There are also Master Gardeners, Master Farmers, Master Foragers, Master Housekeepers and Master Fishers. The term Meister master, is protected in Germany in connection with the various trades. In the commercial sector, this type of further training and examination is often referred to as Fachkaufmann or Betriebswirt. With the examination as a master craftsman, the person then also had admission to study. In this respect, a master craftsman then has a qualification comparable to the Abitur, even if he previously started the apprenticeship with a secondary living certificate. At the same time, the qualification is classified at level 6 in the European Qualifications Framework, which is the same level as a bachelor's degree. 
from the perspective of this framework, the Master Craftsman is the same as a Bachelor degree. However, the Master Craftsman has a much higher level of specialist training, professional experience and permission to train. The Master Craftsmen were not very pleased about this equality to put in mildly. The term Master, or at that time Magister, for the degree that gave permission to teach in the Middle Ages also refers to the permission of the Master Craftsmen to teach. The average salary of a Master Craftsman in Germany is 48,700 euro gross per year. However, as we saw in last week's video, this is only a rough estimate and it varies greatly depending on the trade or sector. And if you become self-employed as a Master Craftsman, things look very different again. In many professions there are also Techniker, technicians, to complement the Master Craftsman. Instead of attending a master school, which is often only recommended, the prospective technicians must attend the technical school for two years. The qualification is also at level 6 in the aforementioned European qualification framework. The difference is that, to put it simply, the master craftsman is designed to be more practical and with the aim of managing a company, while the technician is more theoretical and is intended to be used in planning and development in large companies. As with many further training courses, you can also apply for subsidy for this under the Vocational Training Assistance Act, Berufsausbildungsförderungsgesetz, but we will look in that next week. And even master craftsmen, technicians and business administrators, Betriebswirte, can have various further training courses. For example, some master bricklayers have further training as structural engineers and can then also carry out structural calculations similar to an architect. Or an office clerk or wholesale and foreign trade clerk who works in accounting can have further training to become a Bilanzbuchhalter, regardless of the training as a Fachkaufmann or Betriebswirt. Particularly when building a house or repairing electrical appliances or a car, a master craftsman gives you the certainty that the work has been carried out properly. And he is also responsible for the work carried out by his employees. In a master garage, Meisterwerkstatt for example, a master craftsman is present during all work in the garage to help with problems and to supervise and instruct the people. This can also lead to a master craftsman refusing to carry out work in a house if he can clearly see that the current electrical wiring or gas connections have not been laid professionally and probably are therefore pose danger. In the case of actual dangers to third parties, these must even be reported. Just as we are proud of our dual training system, we are also proud of our master craftsmen in Germany. And some companies allow good employees to do so and even finance their master craftsman's training. I hope you enjoyed this information about the master craftsman. Thank you for your attention. I would appreciate a thumbs up and I will see you next Saturday on the subject of an educational loan.